Hi ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Hollowitz and I want to thank you for being here for this Microsoft Excel tutorial. And in this tutorial we are going to talk about something called Auto Filter. Now the best way I can describe Auto Filter is first and foremost you have to understand a little bit about the data I'm working with right now. And basically what you see on my screen, the data, is just a spreadsheet of all kinds of motorcycle shops across the country. And we have company name, the first name, last name, contact title. And as you can see, we've got a lot of information here. Employee size range and the title of the contact. You'll notice as we look at this that there's a lot of contacts here that don't have a first or last name. But I assure you as we go down the screen a little bit, you're going to see that eventually there are owners and names of people in this spreadsheet. But it's important that you understand there are some without any information. And why that's relevant is something I'm going to show you later on in this tutorial. So let's say you are maybe a sales manager and you've decided you want to market to this list, but you need to break it down a little bit. Well, that's really where Auto Filter comes into play. So let me show you how to work with that. First of all, let's say we want to find only people that are presidents. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on column D. And what that does is it selects the entire column. Next, I'm going to go up to data and I'm going to click on data. And I'm going to come over here to where it says filter and I'm going to click on that. And what it does is it puts a little drop down arrow right here, right next to the contact title. Let me click away from that so you can see it. It's right here. Right now we're showing everyone on this list and there's more than 6,000 people in this list. So I'm going to click on this drop down and what I want you to observe is when this box comes down, depending on the version of Excel, you might be able to draw or drag this box out so it's larger. Right now everything is selected and these are all the titles that make up this title list. Excel has broken them all down. I'm going to click on select all to uncheck it and if we just want the president and that's all we want to see are the presidents that are on this list. I click on president, I'm going to click OK, and you'll see that now I have filtered this down so there's only presidents in this list. I'm going to draw your attention, I know it can be hard to see in this kind of recording, but down here on the bottom left, it's telling me that 475 of 6,641 records were found. In other words, 475 of almost 7,000 records were presidents. So I broke that down. If I want to take the filter off, the easiest way to do it is just come back up here where it says filter and I'm going to click on this and take it off. And that completely took all the filtering off. Having said that, let's go back to the very top so you can see what we're looking at here. And let's say now we want to break it down even more. Well, we can break it down by columns. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to come over here to the left of the letter A and there's a little triangle here. I'm going to click right there and it selected the entire spreadsheet. Everything's selected. Next, I'm going to come up and click on filter again and now what it's done is just so you can see that it's put a drop down on every column. So next, let's say we want to go up and not only find just the president, so let me click on this drop down. I'm going to drag this out again just to make it a little bit wider. I'm going to uncheck everything by unchecking select all. I'm going to choose president right here. Now we know because of our previous example we had 475 presidents. But next let's say we want to break it down even more so that we click on the employee size range and let's say we only want companies that have 10 to 19 employees where the contact title is president. So now I've broken it down even more. So previously there were pro about 475 presidents, but now if we come back down here and look, 83 of the 6,641 records are presidents with employee size range of 10 to 19. So in a nutshell, what you can do here is you can filter things based on a variety of criteria. And this is very easy to use, and what I urge you to do is just go in and literally make sure, or not make sure, but go in and play with this because you're not breaking anything, you're not changing anything, you're just filtering stuff that's already there. 
Another thing that I just want to show you is, let's say we take last name, and what we want to do is I'm going to uncheck select all, and I want to come up here to where it says text filters. And under the text filters, you want to play with this a little bit, but let's say you want to make sure that things equal something or do not equal something or begin with or, or whatever, or does not contain. You can break things down in a grander scope by working with this. So for example, you could put in does not contain data. So in other words, for the last name, we could make sure that any contact we saw in this particular list had a last name. And in this particular list, I'm assuming if there's a last name, there's a first name. So when you go in with auto filter, there's a couple things you need to make sure of. One, you got to understand your data a little bit, because if you understand the data, then you'll logically be able to sort it in a way that makes sense to you. If you don't understand the data, it can be a little bit of a crapshoot as far as trying to break it down. But the auto filter is one of the easiest ways to break things down in an Excel spreadsheet easily. And I do find that a lot of people that use Excel don't even know about this. And I think it's so easy to use, I think it can really change the way you use Microsoft Excel. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Hollowitz, and I want to thank you so very much for being here. Have a great day. Thank you.